aiding farmers to grow their products based on seasonal forecasts, and also safeguarding fishermen on the condition of the sea before going on fishing, which can be done with the scientific method of monitoring the sea level using their sophisticated equipment. So agrometeorology first because we believe that weather forecasts and climate services can really uh, dramatically enhance agricultural production and give more to the farmers. Yes, they have something already, but they can get more. How do we do that? We will do that if we had the support of the media. But the media themselves also need support from the weather forecast department to be able to work efficiently. I hope that at the end of the day, we will be able to have a clear action plan with responsibilities and commitments and people really respecting their commitment so that the relation can be something uh, sustainable. So we don't have something which is ad hoc or which is related to a project. We all know that if it is only be with the fund of the project, as soon as the project stops, the activity stops. This training provided journalists basic information on climate change and meteorology, as well as identify the constraint of the media in disseminating weather forecasts and how to use the information, communication technologies in information sharing in partnership with the Water Resources Department and other stakeholders. Recommendations were made as to how the media can effectively work with the Department of Water Resources under the supervision of the Ministry of Fisheries and Water Resources to provide information to the local people all over the country. Experts, though, believe a new page has been opened as far as climate information and services in the country is concerned. Rohibite, GRTS. UNFPA The Gambia Thursday presented 20 motorcycles and medical equipment to the Ministry of Health and Social Welfare and its development partners at a ceremony held at the Sarakunda General Hospital. As the Bajansa reports, the donated items worth millions of dollars are geared towards building the capacities of the beneficiaries in the quest for quality health care services in the country. Bicycles valued at $2,295,360 and medical equipment such as anesthesia machine, Doppler heart rate detector, hemoglobinometers with printers, automatic newborn incubators, foot operated nebulizers, oxygen concentrators, electrical and foot operated suction pumps and a portable digital ultrasound scanner with printer worth over $2,700,000 was what was presented to the health sector by the UNFPA Gambia. The materials are meant to support and enhance health care delivery services in the country. I'm happy that we're providing these, uh, v these um, motorcycles, equip health equipment, and some uh, f uh, hospital furniture for selected health care system. Because for us, UNDP and UNFPA and uh, the UN system here, and the government of Gambia, the welfare of our people comes first. And um, I'm really pleased to commend the Gambian government for making sure that that is priority in their agenda, particularly the care of women and young people. The valuable items which are expected to greatly contribute to the Gambia government's vision of providing quality health care for all, according to the Minister of Health and Social Welfare, comes at a time when his ministry is embarking on enhancing the health sector, starting at the grassroots. Uh, sending 25 Gambian trained doctors to all our strategically located health facilities, both in major and uh, major health centers and uh, hospitals and uh, one of the key areas that we are trying to address is the issue of maternal and child health and then we are collaborating with the Makai project to have most of our doctors trained in emergency obstetrics uh, care and we are doing this without any uh, reservation so I want to join my colleague minister to thank you all on behalf of the government and people of the Republic of Gambia.
for this magnanimous uh, donation. The motorbikes were distributed among the Ministry of Health, Ministry of Youth and Sport, Gambia Family Planning Association and the Women's Bureau for effective data collection and survey on maternal care and sexual reproductive health issues. I'm aware that this year, 2014, there are more programs that we can do together. And uh, in the ministry, uh, we, we've started repositioning ourselves, our institutions, to strengthening them. I just want to show you that uh, whatever is entrusted on us, uh, we will make sure that we carry out the responsibilities and expectations uh, to the letter. Strengthening the capacity of Gambian health facilities is a prerequisite to the delivery of quality health care services. Thus, officials are hopeful that the items will greatly contribute to this drive when effectively utilized by the beneficiaries. Isotobajansar, GRTS. Lawmakers continued their scrutiny of audited accounts, annual activity reports, and financial statements of public institutions. Well, the Gambia Livestock Marketing Agency, led by the board chair, also had a date with the National Assembly Park Peck Committee. GRTS's Modu Bajan was at the National Assembly Chamber, and he now reports. The Public Enterprise Committee on Thursday considered the Gambia Livestock Marketing Agency's 2012 audited activity report and financial statement. The agency which was constituted to promote the commercialization and marketing of livestock in the Gambia and as well facilitate the active participation of Gambians in livestock marketing is said to have done very well. As a matter of fact, it is the first institution to be mainly compliant as regards the pack pack undertaking. Some of the conducted um, activities and achievements during the year on the review are one, the registration of butchers and livestock dealers. A total of 244 livestock dealers were registered over the period um, representing a 3.2% increase compared to the previous year. We have also been quality and managing cattle tax. The field staff, in, in, um, in collaboration with um, GRA, collected about $150,850 against the sum of 186 last year, 186,000 last year. The sum of 268,000 was, however, spent during the year to procure drugs and vaccines for livestock farmers. Gambia Livestock Marketing Agency was the first institution to be 99% compliant. They deserve commendation on that. And when you look at their compliance level for 11, they were 75 percent compliant. 2012, they were 99 percent compliant. And on behalf of the management of the Gambia Public Procurement Authority, we would like to congratulate you on that. If GLMA was uh, a business venture, we would say you are very liquid because you're looking at your accounts. Your total current assets are more, far more the total current liabilities. So we w one would want to say that you are a viable venture in, in business terms and would encourage you to maintain that status. Even though you, you incurring lost, there was a deficit of 1.4 million, it's, it's gradually eating down the reserve you made over the years, which uh, made it to come down from 10 million to 8.6 million under your accumulated fund. The finance director of Gilma, Sajon Benga, gave an insight into the financial statement of the agency. Having done this, deputies took turns to ask questions regarding critical issues. Two hundred seventy-seven thousand four hundred fifty-nine thirty-three dollars The finance by is the accumulated fund, which is eight million six hundred seventy-seven thousand four hundred fifty-nine dollars thirty-three dollars Now we have the statement of income and expenditure for the year ending the thirty-first December, twenty twelve. The amount subvented to the agency is seven million. 
819,580. As far as compliant issues are concerned with regards to GPPA, for the simple fact that we know the chunk part of government resources goes into procurement.